Hey everybody, welcome to another update on unconventional printing. Um, so since last video I made, I have painted it. Uh, we were starting to have some rust issues, so I went ahead and gave the steel parts a little bit of black paint. Um, and got this wonderful, beautiful sheet of glass on here. It is a 99 inch by 58 inches by 3 8 inch thick. It is a giant piece of glass. I haven't really leveled it yet, but it's on there. So now I can start to level it and compare it to the level of the Y gantry here. So I got my belts ran for my Y gantry. Printed up this little belt contraption GT3 belt catch. And it allows me to get some tension in it and just tie it with the bolts or fasten it down with the bolts. Um, everything seems to be pretty nicely ran. I'm not getting a whole lot of anger out of my belts anymore. I seem to have gotten them in the right positions. I had to print a little spacer to keep the bearing in because I had to pull off that, that drive pulley. And the other one has a similar system right there. Um, still have some extra belt that I haven't trimmed off just because... I'm waiting until I get everything done before I cut belts, but it drives real nice. Doesn't take a whole lot of force. It is a thing of beauty. Um, also, since last time, for those who are concerned, I cut a little hole in my my shroud for my panel, for my lights, and uh, took out the light bulb so that my Z motor can pass through. Um, so the next step is to figure out how I'm going to drive the Z-axis. I have some really nice Acme threaded rod that I'm going to be using. Um, but just kind of getting all the pieces set up and figuring out how I'm going to do it. Thanks for checking and watching the video.